Hello, TFG listeners. I would like to welcome you to our podcast, Situational Awareness. As always, I'm Prisa101, or Kirk, and joining me is my co-host, Blogschnarb, or Eric, to provide you with the answers to problems that you never knew existed. But with that, let's get on with today's show. Eric. Kirk. Alton. If... If you could eat whatever you want for free, but all of the calories are quadrupled and it's half as filling, do you do it? Would humanity do it? So I don't have to pay for food anymore, but it's going to take me more and I'll get fatter? Yeah. Yeah, technically. Um. So twice, it's it's everything is half as filling and everything is double the calories. Well, so I'll feel hungry, but will I be able to survive off of that food? I guess so, yes. You're just going to have that really gnawing hunger still when you eat. And it is double the calories. So, like, in theory, if you know, if, like, if you're counting, then, like, net, I guess you'd be fine. Like, if you're like, all right, I know that I need this many calories to survive, but it's half as filling. So, like, what, like what's, like, the least, the least feeling food, filling food for you? Soup. Soup? Okay. Really? Soup, soup's not that, like, unfilling for me. No. Nah. Soup doesn't do shit for me. It is <laughs> soup doesn't do it for you. So now, question: As far as the the filling goes, like if I eat more food, I'm gonna get fatter, right? Yeah, because you're 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 it's double. What did I say? Double the calories? Quadruple the calories? Let me see. It's quadruple. Calories are quadrupled. It's not. Oh my god, that's so much. If if I'm still burning off those calories, because the only way for me to keep being hungry is to burn off those calories, right? No, because everything is half as filling. So right, but like I'm still hungry because I. I didn't have enough food so my so my my stomach is still burning that food yeah but not no it's like half as the, the feeling of being full is a, like a difference in my opinion than actually being sustained like you can eat like something like like big like a big fat steak and you can fill full but probably eat less calories than if you like just popped a shit ton of pizza poppers like the amount of food is it's harder for you to to get that fill feeling but it's everything's quadruple the calories all right um so no i i don't think i would do this then like even with the free food and everything i would have to spend so much time eating i already spend so much time of my day just eating food to not be hungry anymore and if I had to eat twice as much, you don't have to. You you just don't. You just have to be hungry all the time. Right, but like I, the only reason I eat is because I'm hungry. I don't eat to survive. I, I eat because I'm hungry and it bothers me. So <laughs> so when I get hungry now, like it's gonna take me twice as much food to to not have that hunger anymore. And on top of that, I am getting four times as fat from it. Yeah. So like you get one trip to Wendy's, that's enough food for like a week. Yeah. So the, I, I I'm eating or I'm getting eight times as fat off of this and i'm already getting fat so no i'm not i'm not gonna take it i'm gonna pay for my you're gonna pay for your food but it's all foods free eric you don't have to spend money anymore i i know i would save so much money you would save a lot of money that's like 90 percent of my expenses what if you just what if you just dedicate your spare time to not being fat to like being active and healthy what spare time your video game time what uh, what if you can play video that... games while you're working out what if you got How like a tread... spare time oh. <laughs> Like, like, what what magic time are you giving me right now? I'm giving you the time that you'd be doing playing video games. Like, how many how many games, how many hours a day do you play video games? Nowadays, yeah, maybe like three to four. All right, so imagine you took those three to four hours and you worked out instead to burn off all those extra calories. I don't want to do that. If I wanted to do that, I'd be doing that. <laughs> what if you could play video games at the same time? Like, what if you just got, like, a no. treadmill? Like, use all that money you're saving, and you're just, like, walking while playing games. No, Kirk, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I would I would pay money to not have to do that. <laughs> you would pay money to not walk on a treadmill? I would pay... If, if I was in a world where I had to walk on a treadmill in order to survive, or, like, in order to, like, not go to jail or something, and I could pay money... Guy breaks into your house with, a gu with two guns, and he's pointing them at your sister and your mom, and... and and he, and he, and, he, and his, his cohort comes in and wheels in a treadmill. And he says, if you don't run on this treadmill right now, I'm going to kill your family. What do you do? Go. There's no bribery? I, I'm trying to figure out where this came from. Is this like, do I get to bribe him or do I have to run on the treadmill right now? I mean, you could, you could try, but he, you know, he might just shoot your mother because he's angry. I'm oh, sorry. Well, He'll no, shoot yeah, your sister. So, so like if, if my options are like run on the treadmill or my family dies, then I'm going to run on the treadmill. Okay. How long do I have to run for? Uh... Can he see me? What I look like? Does he know that I'm not in shape? Yeah, yeah. He he wants you to run as much as an Olympic Olympic athlete. Will he understand when I keel over and 
and can't run anymore because I'm fat. Nah, he'll shoot at your feet so you keep running. I feel like I'm going to reach a certain point. I, I am so out of shape at this point that I get physically exhausted to the point of fainting if i run for more than like three minutes when was the last time you ran for three minutes uh last weekend okay what did you do last weekend that caused you to run for three minutes i was at my sister's house you're at your sister's house it just it just means you run like what does that mean to me we were playing laser tag your oh, it actually does sound like fun it, it was fun until i couldn't breathe without anymore me? And i was about to pay pass out you didn't invite me why wasn't i invited to this by the way your family loves me you've met my sister like twice yeah that's really depressing if you put it like that well it's on her because she moved out fast she's five years older than us so so you'd run as as far as long as three minutes that's it yeah i'm really out of shape I think I can run for for a minute 10 before my back starts to hurt. I think anything after that. I, I was running for like three minutes and I literally like I, I was about to pass out. Really? Like I, I was done for the day. Yeah. I think my body in other places give out before my ability to like stay conscious, if that makes sense. Like my knee or my back or or my side. Yeah. Like uh, like it's it's not that my body is like aching or anything. It's just that I, I can no longer breathe and and my like i get dizzy my wow. my face turns like white my i can't breathe anymore i i literally like i was four seconds away from passing out if i didn't sit down when i did and i get the same way like if i shovel in the winter i get the same way how long shoveling it goes really fast what do you mean goes really fast like you, you like it happens to you really fast now or yeah like if i shovel after like a minute i'll, I'll get to the point where i'm gonna pass out and i don't know if it's just because like i don't usually eat before i do these things because Generally, it's like, Eric, wake up now. You have to go shovel. And I have to be like, I'm literally sleeping. And they're like, I don't care. Get up now. And I have to like I have, I get up those out days, of bed yeah. and like put on shoes and like a jacket. And go am I and am shoveling. I more in shape than you? I, you might be at this point. That, holy shit. That's worrisome. I can do it. Like I can shovel my, my driveway. I'm not happy about it, but... I could do it. I'm not like out of breath or I, I don't really need to stop. It's just, you know, boring as sin. God, I hate shoveling. Can we get rid of snow? No, I like snow. I just Fuck like snow. Shoveling. What does snow ever do to you? Or do for you? I don't know. I just like snow. Do you feel like snow has helped you in your life or hurt you more? What, what's the what's the the net like outcome of snow for you? For me, it's definitely a 100% negative. It has tried to kill me. It has tried, it has tried to kill me and it's tried to kill me. I mean, what more do you need than that? I think it's pretty even for me. It's even? You think you've gotten an even amount of joy and anger from snow? Yeah. Bullshit. Snow sucks. 2021? Getting rid of snow. Global warming. It's happening. <laughs> I deem it so. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's show. Do we do these situations justice, or do you think you have a suggestion for us in the future? If so, leave us a comment. If you made it this far, then please like, subscribe, ring the bell, join our Discord, check out our live streams on Twitch, or check out some of our other content on the screen right now. Thanks for listening, and see you soon.